Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is uh, because a good friend of mine had uh, had messaged me the other day, and she asked me a question that a lot of people ask. Um, in other words, you know, uh, why am I a Trump supporter? Being a black man, and my wife being Hispanic. Like, how is that working out for us, in other words? You know, because he's pushing the whole border wall thing and, you know, he's supposed to be a racist or whatever. But um, so that's why I'm making this video, because I told her that I can't uh, put all my answers into a text. It'll be a, a short story. And even in this video, there's a lot of stuff I'm 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 going to be leaving out because it, this video will be probably two hours long. So I'm rushing through some of the reasons why some of the major reasons why the most important to me i guess i can say um why i chose to leave the plantation and uh the plantation i mean leave the democratic party um so in this video i'm going to be uh talking about that discussing that and you know she's not the only one that asked me this question a lot of people ask me this question. My family asked me this question. And, you know, I get into debates with certain family members. And I told myself, as of last week, I'm not going to get into debates anymore. My opinion is my opinion. And my belief is my belief. Yours is yours. And I respect that. And I'm just going to leave it alone. Because I don't choose Donald Trump or the Republican Party over my family or the Democratic Party or anybody, any party over my family. So uh, there's really no point in me arguing with my family members over something that's beneath them, which is politics. My family's first. Okay, number one, let's get started. Black lives don't matter to the Democratic Party. Black votes matter to the Democratic Party. And that's all they care about because they never come around after election days. During the election times, that's when you see them in our communities. That's when you see them preaching, uh, you know, what they're going to do for us and everything. You see them inside of our churches. That's when you see them. Uh, preaching in our, our, our communities, our streets. That's when you see them is so they can get our goddamn votes. After they get the votes and they win, they disappear. If they lose, they disappear. Okay. Um, they rather give people in the hood. I'm not going to say black people. I'm not going to change that. People in the hood and the ghettos, free shit, welfare. Back in my days, it was, they actually gave government food with like, it was like these cans, and most people my age will remember, that has a pig on it and a can with a white chicken on it and a can with a cow on it with government cheese, okay? Um, and then they give you food stamps. And then they put you in a house, <laughs> A property under Section 8 or public housing that says you as the mother with your children can live in this house, but the father of this children better not never come around. That destroyed the black community. You got more homosexuals running around here than I ever seen in my life that are black men. And from what I remember growing up, my father was a real man. His friends were real men. I didn't see a bunch of homosexual black men running around here like I do now. Why is that? No one can answer. I'll tell you why. Because they took the goddamn father out of the home. So these men were raised by women, which they turned into fucking women. Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting a bit emotional. I'm getting pissed. And, you know, not, not at the question, but... Um, I just, you know, it angers me what they done. Okay. All right. Uh, number two, Barack Obama was in office for eight years and he didn't do anything 
for the black community. Nothing. President Trump is doing and trying to do more for the black community than Barack Obama did in eight years. This is from what I see with my own eyes. Okay. Black people right now are employed more so than ever before. This isn't Donald Trump's statistics. This is the statistics from the Department of of of, of Labor. Okay, look it up your freaking self. Who can argue with that? Who can argue with that? Black folks don't want us to be, you know, we don't want people to give us anything. Okay. We don't want food stamps. We don't want welfare. We want to go out and make a living like everyone else. We want good credit like everyone else. We want to own our own property like everyone else. Okay. And as long as blacks are held down with free shit from the Democratic Party, they will always be in control over us. They will always have our votes, get our votes and give us more free shit. Like they're trying to offer us free college now. That is the stupidest thing in the world. For the working class, we'll be paying so much taxes. Who's going to pay for that college? Now they're offering free college. They're doing everything they can they can to get back into power. Doing everything they can. Offering more free shit. So they can up our taxes. Okay. Number three, there is no way in hell, and I don't see how us black people can vote for fucking Hillary Clinton after what her family did to our black community. I don't even have to say it. You guys know it. The three strikes you out bullshit. Some people don't really realize when they think of a felony, okay, when they think of a felony, you you think of murder or you think of armed robbery or grand larceny a felony is if you drive over 80 miles per hour in the state of virginia that is reckless driving that is considered a felony (sighs) they destroyed our community again with this bullcrap and made the jails um private do you think they had a hand in that when they did that Okay, so they made the jails private and then came out with this three strikes you out, filled these private jails up, and I guarantee you they was getting their asses paid on the backside, the Clintons, getting paid on the backside, and then we're going to vote for those motherfuckers again? No way. All right, I'm just, I'm cutting it short. All right, um, number four, I don't believe in abortion. I don't believe in Planned Parenthood. Other words, murdering babies. Again, you guys know this. You guys already know what they're doing. Okay, New York just passed this freaking bill or whatever, and they were celebrating by turning all the lights on in Times Square, Democratic New York. When they passed and this bill saying that if your baby is born with a deformity, if your baby is born With a mental handicap like retardation or mental illness or whatever they want to call it nowadays. uh, Mentally challenged, okay? If your baby is born and you just don't want the baby. They have the right to kill the baby. What fucking madness is that? Then Virginia, Democratic governor, he's passing the same thing. And the, 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 um, the nurses... Union all came together and they're like, we're, we've been sworn to, to protect life. We're not, we, these are women that work in labor and delivery. And you asking these women to deliver this baby, then kill it. That's murder. And you want me to vote for that? I'm a Christian. Okay. I don't live by the Bible. I drink beer. I party. I curse. I fucking, I do all that, you know, uh, but my belief is my belief. Okay, and there is no way in hell I have I have kids of my own. There's no way in hell I'll vote for a party that will kill a baby when they're born just because the fucking mother doesn't want it 
or because it has a disability or because it, it, it has a mental illness. You want me to vote for that? I don't think so. I'm not going to. I can keep going in, in on that, but I'm not. OK. Um, OK. I'm done voting for a party that doesn't serve my community. They only show up every four years. Like I said already, they they just show up every four years. Once every four years and disappear and give us free shit. Like I said, I'm from the hood. Um, I was raised in the 80s. So can't nobody tell me nothing. I seen with my own eyes. And if I want that for my children, then I will continue to vote for the Democratic Party and, and trickle it down to my children and say, hey, look, all right, my mother was on Section 8. Now I'm on Section 8. Now you guys get on Section 8. All right. Um, I'm not going to say who, but there was a family member of mine um, that was on these public housing Section 8 bullshit. Her son got in trouble with the law. They gave that person a letter and said, you and all your children, get out. You're done. I do not want nobody to have the power to do that shit to me. Okay? I own my own house. Ain't nobody coming to kick me out of my house. All right? I want my children to own their own house. I want to teach them what was taught to me and I want my children to teach their children how to build your credit work 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 a job go to school buy your own property not live off of section 8 not live off of public housing not live off of food stamps okay no number and also I'm a gun guy I don't like to go anywhere without my gun I, I, I have a, I have daughters and sons, young children. If someone breaks into my house, I want to be able to protect myself. When I when I leave my house, I, I, I carry. If I go into the grocery store and somebody want to do an active shooting, you know, situation, I want to be able to have a fighting chance, not be a sitting duck. All of these Democratic cities, just look at the Democratic cities. Look at every single Democratic, major Democratic city. And look at the gun restrictions they have. And what doesn't make any sense is that the gun restrictions are for the law abiding citizens. But every last one of those Democratic cities are violent as hell with gun violence. But they restrict the (laughs) non-criminals. If that doesn't make any goddamn sense to you, then... That doesn't make no damn sense. I am in the jungle and there's lions everywhere with claws and teeth. And all I have is my antlers to protect me from these lions that want to kill me. And then the government comes and take my antlers off. Now I don't have shit to protect myself with and say, hey, you put those antlers back on, buddy. We're going to throw your ass in jail. New York, Chicago. Um, California, D.C. just finally changed their gun laws a little bit, but it's good. They did change it. Maryland, you go to Baltimore, you can't open carry. You can't carry, okay? Then I've been to Baltimore once before in my life, and I was scared out of my damn mind. And I was there to paint this old lady's house for school money so I can buy some school clothes before school started with my uncle back when I was in high school in the early, in the uh the mid 90s with crack and all that was very terrible back then all right so let me continue um in 2008 I voted for Barack Obama because I thought he would actually make a change in the black community if I'm wrong Please, someone show me, give me a link, give me a a something. Uh, tell me where to look this up. In eight years that Barack Obama was in power, did he ever go to the black community in any state besides trying to win their votes? 
besides trying to win their votes? Did he ever go to any black community in any major city, country ass town, Texas, one horse foot town? I don't give a shit. Did he go to any black black community, not not any community, black community and just talk to the black folks to uplift their spirit? Maybe he could have reached out and, and, and touched some kid's heart in Chicago that probably last year probably just shot up 15 people with, with an with, with a AK-47. He probably could have reached out and touched that child's heart and made him change his ways and get off the streets and not want to be a gangbanger, not want to be a folk, not want to be a, a, a vice lord, not want to be a blood, not want to be a crip. Did he do, did he make one speech? And if so, please tell me where to go to find this speech. So I will shut my mouth about it. This black man, this black president. I don't recall him going to any place, black community to address black people. Just talk to him. Just talk to him and try to win a soul. When I say win a soul, I don't mean win a soul to get saved, but I mean win a soul that won't be murdered. That's probably murdered now. When this child probably could have said, you know what? I'm going to change my ways because this man did it and I don't want I don't want to live like this anymore. After Barack Obama, eight years, he didn't do anything for for black people. And it's, it's sad because people at my job, white people at my job is like, I'm surprised that he didn't make not one speech. For y'all black people. And I'm like, I don't know what to say. Because it's embarrassing that other races notice that shit. So. So after he. You know, was done with his presidency. He rallied his ass off last year in 2000, in 2018. He rallied his ass off for the Democratic Party to win the House. You all seen it. He was running. He was rallying like he was running for president again, which I y'all know he can't. But he was and I was getting angry, angry like a mug because. All that rallying for the Democratic Party. And even after he became president, when he has time to rest, he's not doing anything anymore. He still has not reached out to the black people, to the black community. But he's reaching out for their votes for the Democratic Party, which he whom he loves so fucking much. Huh? Am I wrong? Show me a video. Give me a link. Not where he's doing it. Not where he's rallying to win votes. Not where he's going to the black community for the Democratic Party. Show me somewhere where he's goes where he's out on his own. Went to the boys club on the south side of Chicago. Went to the boys club in Compton. Went to the boys club in Southeast D.C. Just to talk to the people. Went to an all black high school. Dunbar in D.C. Just to talk to the people. Not right, not trying to win votes. Just to talk to the people. Alright. I'm going to cut this short because. Yeah. Alright so. I think I covered this already about them trying to, uh, you know, w win uh, votes. I mean, um, for colleges, you know, the college thing is I'm not going to be taxed. No, you're not going to tax me. OK. Everybody's calling Donald Trump a racist. The racist. He's a racist. He's a racist, 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 because the whole Mexican thing, the whole Mexican thing. Everybody knows it's true. Everybody knows that the the law is the law. You guys are mad because he's trying to uphold the law. Am I wrong? Is he wrong for trying to uphold the law? By illegal immigrants crossing over to this country... The law is being broken. I say this in my house. Without order, there is chaos. So my house has to have rules. 
in my house, they have to have rules. At 10 o'clock, the kids turn in their phones to my room because they can't sleep with their phones because they won't go to sleep. And then they'll be in school tired and they can't pay attention and focus. So at 10 o'clock, you walk in my room and you turn your phones in. They do it every day at 10 o'clock. There's chores that's done on a daily basis in my house. I come home from work. My kitchen is clean. I get off work. I get home at six o'clock in the morning. My kitchen is clean. The dining room is clean. The floor is mopped. The floor is swept. There's order. Without order, there is chaos. If there was no order, these kids won't wash the dishes on their own because they're my children. I know that. They ain't going to do it on their own. So they have to have rules. There's rules in my household. They know to follow these rules. And they do a damn good job about it. And I'm not just saying that because that's my kids. But they do a damn good job. And then I reward them with allowance. Everything is working fine in my house. Everything is working fine. I can't complain. People can't just walk over here to this country. Don't get me wrong. We do need immigrants. We do need workers. We do need people... I don't care if it's immigrants. I don't care if it's American citizens. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. You know, my children are from Idaho. You see these onion fields and you see these potato fields and you see these these uh, uh, radish fields. They're full of Hispanics picking these things for low wages. We need them. We need them. But you all know, and I just came from, I just flew, I just flew back, back to America from, from a Latin, Latin country down in Central America. You can't tell me, and you guys all know, that there is murderous, murderous, rapists, children rapists, and they kill the kids. Right now in Juarez, Texas, on the border, I mean, Juarez, uh, 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 Mexico on the border of Texas. Women are disappearing left and fucking right. And so now they find these shallow graves every fucking where. Well, this whoever this person is, and I heard of now now I heard it's the uh, the cartel, but um, or it could be a serial killer. It's a serial killer's dream to go to just Mexico and just kill these women, rape these girls, kill these children after you rape them and have your way with them. And then guess what they do? They walk right across the border, walk to whatever state you live in, and they live right next door to you, your daughters, and your little boys, and your wife, while you're at work, working overnight, like I do, and now you're probably, you know, your house probably is going to be broken because he's looking out the window, checking your daughters out. This murderous child rapist. And your daughter's only nine years old. And this fool just walked across the goddamn border. Something needs to be done. Without order, there is chaos. Okay? So, have immigration. Have it where they flood over here. I don't care how many immigrants come over here. Hell, I'm an immigrant. My wife is an immigrant. I don't care how many come over here. But do it the legal way. And make sure that you get a background check done because I don't want you living next to me if you just slaughtered a bunch of people with machetes because you're down with the MS-13 gang or you down with some Panamanian gang or you down with some. You just chopped everybody up and everybody knows it and you're running from the law and you just walk across the border and you're living next door to me. Mm -mm. Nah, there's something wrong with that. Democrats don't see nothing wrong with that. Why? I don't fucking know. So I'm just cutting it short. There's a bunch of other reasons why I, I am done with this party. I left the plantation. I am done with the freaking Democratic Party. There's a bunch of other reasons why. And I just can't. Uh, I've, already, I've already used up a lot of time here. My grammar sucks. I just woke up and I went back to listen to the video. Holy shit, man. I, Damn, I can never do this for a living. But for the record, I don't have anything against homosexuals. Do whatever you want to do with your life. I don't care. Um, and I'm not cursing at anyone in particular or anybody. I just curse when I talk. That's just, it is what it is. Um, 
just wanted to put that out there. Uh, see you guys in the next video.